Oh my god, I nailed the intro. And my mic was crackly the whole time. You, oh, you son of... All right, what's going on, everybody? Great start to the episode. Uh, we are here back in the wild world of Madden 23 Pink Slips. It's episode 25, I think. Could be 26. Looks like 25. And we're in the playoffs. It is time for a playoff run. We have to run the gauntlet starting here in the wild card against our bitter divisional rival. And I'd say bitter. We've had some very bad losses to the Raiders. Uh, they're 10 and 7. We're 12 and 5. We are looking to win a Super Bowl. It is time for this team to win a Super Bowl, man. A lot of pressure's on. We have, you know, Pink Slips has a shelf life. I don't say that is like, you know, you only do it and then you get bored and you don't want to do it anymore. But this team, this is a team. I, this team right here is the team that I want to win the Super Bowl. The West. This team right here is the team that I want people to remember as our Madden 23 Pink Slips team. If we go on and win a Super Bowl, we're going to remember Malik Willis. We're going to remember this Justin Jefferson that we built in a lab and won 99 speed for. You know, we're going to remember George Pickens being literally unstoppable. You know, on the defensive side. We're going to remember, you know, yes, we built up a nice defensive line here, but we're going to remember Sauce Gardner breaking out. We're going to remember Tariq Rulin. We're going to remember Zaya McCollum, the cookie monster, the linebacking core of Rodrigo, Leo Chanel, and the alien Troy Anderson. I want these guys to be our pink slip guys. I want these guys to be the legends that have built their identity on this channel in Madden 23 pink slips. But if we don't win the Super Bowl, we're going to have to run it back next year. We're going to win most of our games next year. And some of these guys are going to have to be like, it's just going to be like, well, we didn't win the Super Bowl. So, you know, let's use this spin the wheel. And, you know, we're down to only so many upgrades and we're going to have to upgrade, you know, at free safety and we're going to get someone better or we're going to upgrade over Troy Anderson. It just comes down to it that we have to get, you know, Fred Warner or like, you know, I, I don't want that. I don't want this super team that's going to probably be built if we don't win this year. I want this to be our pink slip team that wins the Super Bowl because usually once we win the Super Bowl, we move on to something else. And this is obviously not going to be the end of pink slips if we go on this journey and we're definitely putting... The, the carriage before the horse or whatever that saying is right now because we could be one and done and crash and burn. But like I want this team to go on and win a Super Bowl and then it'll be on to the next thing. Be it, you know, obviously we have Pink Slip Rebuilds now on the channel. I am working on the framework right now of like kind of a career mode series that has some Pink Slip elements to it, which I think would be absolutely fire. And hopefully I can get that out um, before the end of the weekend. And obviously we have other opportunities for pink slips. We can make a brand new team. We can do brand new, you know, you got flashback pink slips, legend fleet. All those different things can happen. But right now I want this team here, this collective to go on and win the Super Bowl. This is the guys that I want to win with. Is That's the easiest way to say it. If we lose and we have to run it back next year, you know, sure, we're going we're gonna to kick the shit up. But the, you know, some of these guys might not be here. We might have to get better players and better overall players in. So our team plays better in the sim. I don't really want that. I want to win with the guys that we have. I want to win with the guys that we have. And this fucking dragon, pardon my friends, that we've been chasing ever since this series has started. We started this whole thing. It's a fantasy draft. So there's, you know, every player is every on every other team. Kyle Pitts has been within our division this whole series. And he's been the one player we have tried to win. And for whatever reason, the bullshit has followed every time we play the Raiders. And we've never had the opportunity to steal away Kyle Pitts. He's one of my favorite players. We're excluding like the Tebow era. We're looking at like the new era of the Florida Gators. He is my favorite Florida Gator. And Florida sucks now. Florida is like a fucking Sunbelt team. Florida is so bad. We are in Florida is absolutely in a terrible spot right now as it relates to college football. Needs to be said. Small little rant. You're seeing every other big school spend ridiculous NIL getting four and five star recruits. And yes, boo-hoo, if you're a fan of like Kent State, you're going to be like, well, you're still Florida, you still get some guys. But Florida is supposed to be a powerhouse team. And we are absolutely a fucking embarrassment to be in the conversation of powerhouse teams. And like, oh, it's bad, man. I, I hate being a Florida Gator fan right now. But looking back on the good times, Kyle Pitts, that Kyle Trask, Kyle Pitts, Kadarius Tony team. Oh, that team was so good. That team was so fun. That team was so awesome. And I just, I just want Kyle Pitts to be a part of this series. I want to win Kyle Pitts, and I want him to be in the Divisional, the Championship, and hopefully in the Super Bowl to be a focal part of this Pink Slips team. So we're going to have to go in and do it. And really, the only lineup thing we had to really talk about here ahead of this match before we can go in and hopefully just run the score up is uh, we've had, you know, I kind of ended the last episode uh, a week or so ago with the issue with Malik Willis's dev trait and his, his abilities. 
because we had obviously with someone like Malik Willis who is like ridiculous speed, ridiculous escape riders. All along was like we got to give him escape riders. Since he's been an X Factor, I don't think we've even been in the zone once for escape riders. Our offense, even though he has the skill set, we don't really scramble them a whole lot. At least enough to to maximize escape riders. So I went ahead. I gave him dots because we like throwing the football here a lot. We like throwing it to Pickens. We like throwing it to Justin Jefferson. I feel like dots is a much more attainable X Factor ability for Malik Willis. As it stands, I also went ahead and gave him quick draw. Uh, I, I just we, we, We're just not getting the most value out of Malik Willis with that X Factor as escape rider. So hopefully Dots is the improvement that we need to see. Last piece of business we need to talk about here is how we're going to be playing throughout these playoffs. Usually, we play by halves. You know, the traditional episode that we've done this year is we'll start on defense. First and second quarter, we play defense only. We sim the offense and... I would say it's fair to say 90% of the time, our offense is just going three and out, three and out, three and out, three and out. And whatever hole we are in, which usually wasn't too bad because we play good defense in the first half. The second half, we play all offense and we got to usually try to dig ourselves out of the hole. I got bored of that, honestly. It was the same thing all the time. Even though our offense should be on stop or at least be competitive, it was never competitive. Don't really want that here in the playoffs. I don't want to, you know, we go into this game, we lose. It was just like, man... If our offense literally got any points simming in the first half, we would have won that game. I don't want that to be an excuse. I don't want that to be an issue. So what we are going to do here for the playoffs is we are going to alternate series. So for this first game, the first offensive and defensive series for Mexico City, I'm going to sim it. And then we're going to play the second offensive and defensive series. Third offensive and defensive series is going to be sim. Fourth offensive and defensive series is going to be played. So on and so forth, just alternate. So that way there, no matter what, if it's the defense playing bad, if it's the offense playing bad, it shouldn't dig a big enough hole that we don't have a shot on the sticks, try to make amends and try to close that gap a little bit. So I think that's going to be the fairest balance. And if I really enjoy that and you guys like this type of gameplay, for this playoffs if we do crash the bird maybe that's what we do for the year four of pink slips if we have to run it back with this team versus just doing the whole half because it just got so boring because you knew it was going to happen and it made it even more frustrating because you knew it was going to happen with the three and outs three and outs three and outs in the first halves so hopefully this is a better balance it is time because we've been chasing that dragon of kyle pitts since we've been in this stuff fucking series I've wanted Kyle Pitts on this team since day one. We've had time and time and time again to try to bring in Kyle Pitts and win him. And it's not, it's not happened. So now what better time than to go out, beat the Raiders in the playoffs, move on to the division round, steal Kyle Pitts, and have Kyle Pitts be a part of this final pink slips team as we go on and win the Super Bowl. That is the story I'm manifesting in my head. Let's hop on the sticks and get this playoff victory. Let's go, baby. First half. We gotta get out. Of, we gotta get to a fast start. So we're gonna sim the first defensive and offensive drive. Yes. <laughs> I mean, the offense has to finish this off. But we start with a Troy Anderson pick. Couldn't have asked for a better start. Malik Willis rushing touchdown, and now we get to hop on this. That is as good of a start as you could have asked for. Only way that could have been better would that be like a pick six. From Troy Anderson because the pink slip scoring would have been a little bit bigger on that one. But confidence very high. Let's go get after it, man. Nick Bonito. I'll say this, man. Bonito. We always like with pink slips more so earlier on, but we always find these guys that are just like, you know, not no, no dev trait, high 60s, mid 70s that play a lot better than their rating. And I think for a pass rusher, Benito's just been making, and he's not even like that freaky. It's not like Barno, who has like 92, 93 speed. I think Nick Benito, one of the best underrated sleeper pass rushers in Madden 23. <sighs> there he is. We can't, our eyes can't get too big, right? We can't, we can't start feeling ourselves this early, but we're on a trajectory here, fellas. Kyle Pitts should be on the menu. It's not all going our way. Von Miller, big sack there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, we, we kinda we kinda sold on that one. That was terrible. Ooh, booth review. Can we get a good roll? Hey, it's coming back to the good guys. Now we just have to deal with a third and 29. But that's kind of what Pink Slips is all about, right? The big the big third downs, just slinging it. 
99 speed, Just Jefferson. He's been locked up every snap so far because that's why I've been getting sacked. I'm looking for Just Jefferson. Yes! Tom Savage is crying right now. Now it's time, Sim. Offense, the next defense and offensive drive. Let's see what they can do. First tie, there was a touchdown and early. All right, Kyle Pitts, that's that guy. Big plays for Kyle Pitts. Garrett Wilson with a big grab. Oh, my God, Troy Anderson gets his second pick of the game. Some of these, you know what? Maybe my pregame speech inspired them just a little bit. As our offense goes three and out, like we usually, you know, kind of expect it. But I, you know, me going to bat with these guys, saying these are the guys I want to win a Super Bowl with. Maybe that was enough to, to inspire them, especially Troy Anderson, man. Two huge picks. Bring him down, man. Another sack. Zion McCollum, nickel blitz. Third ten. Let's get off the field. Let's do our job. Troy Anderson, two picks. Looking for the hat trick. I go outside, nothing there. Nice three and out. Look at that, man. This is, this is early. This is our second real drive, and we already have him in his X Factor. Formal equalist. Good call. All right, finally, a nice little slants call. This is usually we, we roll out to the right, hit George Pickens wide open. They got Von Miller, man. Von Miller. I don't even know how he's up there in age now. He's, we're what, year three? So, like, Vaughn's like 35, 34. As unstoppable as ever. Third and 10. Hey, George Pickens gets behind the linebacker. We love those matchups. Fucking Vaughn Miller, man. Gotta do it yourself, baby. You want something done right? Do it yourself. Oh, Higby. He knows the noise. He knows we don't really want him here. We want to upgrade on him. Still showing up to work. He'll get a Super Bowl ring if we win. See if we can read Vaughn here. Make the right call. We'll go inside. Highsmith, actually, I think that was the right read, but swallowed up there. Good run defense from Vegas. It's been a long drive, though. Chewing some clock up. Third and goal on the six. No turnovers. Points here is, is important. Oh, man. Do we go for this? Fourth and goal on the two. Ah, house rules. I would say I want to go for it, but we'll... We'll go house rules on that one. Take the points. Now it is up to the Sim to get into halftime. 17 zip. We got a big play Drake London. Oh, they got a punt. Our offense has a chance to get some points here. 34-yard punt. We got a run Malik Willis. And it's 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 why we decided to change up the, uh, the gameplay as it's another three and out from the offense. But a hell of a punt by Stonehouse. A gong putting it on the one. And Troy Anderson's done everything else. Can we get a safety? Let's go. And we get to play offense for 30-some seconds. Take a couple shots to Justin Jefferson. Third and 10. Don't we want to, you know. Eh. No turnovers. Here we go. We get into the second half. All right, so they kick the ball to us. We got to go offense sim, and then we can play defense. So we got a penalty. Ooh, big play there. 15 yards, MVS. Third and five. We get a five-yard pass. Higby, but a sack. Josh Sweat. So we stall out. Let's go play some defense. Yeah. 
He has no chance. Man, he's rattled. Three picks for Trey Lance. Moment way too big. Raiders are wishing they had Brock Purdy in there right now. Third and six. Check down to that dude, Kyle Pitts. Drive continues. A little blitz here. Third and three. We got Leo Chanel in his X Factor coming off the edge. Oh, that's a nice PBU by Sauce. We get off the field there very nicely. An opportunity to get on the sticks. Put up some more points. I really love the run call there on second down. I don't like any of these calls, to be honest with you. It feels like we're, we're playing to just not turn the ball. I don't know. Fuck, we're going for it. Third and six. That's why. Instant catch on a rope. George Pickens, he's right there with like Kid Darius Tony. Such a good player. Plays way better than his overall. Oh, come on. What a fuck. What a garbage throw that was. Running back had a step. Don't even keep it in bounds. All right, got third and 11. I think I just subliminally went off of uh, the house rules of going for coach. Coach call only, so this will be the one time we'll kind of just take it, act like it didn't happen because uh, I was just playing Madden for a second there. Let's go. Look at that block. MVS with the block. Second and goal. Justin Jefferson is the first read, primary read, easy route for him. But pink scoring says get Malik Willis' his second rushing touchdown. Now it's on the sim. Let's get a stop defense, get a score on offense. Oh my god, what is that? I don't even know what that is. We got a sack fumble, I assume. And we'll take it. Quick punt. Offense could be a dagger. I mean, it already feels like an insurmountable lead, but I think more scoring. Even a field goal would be great. But if we can get this into the 30s, I think we're going we're gonna to be able to coast here a little bit. Third nine coming up. We go short with a run on third and nine. We take the field goal. I wish again we were a little bit more aggressive. Hey, they got their garbage time. I don't know if that's going to have a massive impact on how, uh, how everything kind of finishes out here. But you know what? I'm pretty sure we're on the sticks now on offense. 45 seconds. Let's try to get some more points. I'm going to go against the coach here just because it's stupid. I want more points. Let me get more scoring. I'm overruling you for this drive. Dog. George Pickens got that dog in him. We just get Pickens again. Unstoppable play. Unstoppable play right there. Got to remember that if we need it. Fourth and needed. If ever get you know a desperate enough situation, Pickens is unstoppable there. We did exactly what we need to do, man. This is the team. This is our Super Bowl team. And we're going to be able to get a massive upgrade here, defeating the Raiders 36 to 7. I'm going to calculate the star rating. I, I, you know, we're spinning the wheel for sure. And so take a look at the score. We won the game. It was a divisional victory, and we won by 21. 
we're starting with three stars right away. We have the turnover battle, which is worth a half star. Malik Willis, maybe that last drive. It gave us 300 yards passing, which is a half star. He also had a half star for his two rushing touchdowns. George Pickens and Justin Jefferson, both going over 100 yards receiving, is a half star each. And on the defensive side, an outstanding game. Nick Bonito, four sacks is one full star. We had three interceptions, two for Troy Anderson, one for Danick Millen, which is a star and a half all combined. And um, I'd usually add it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight star performance. It's an eight star performance. It's a spin the wheel, man. We got, we got to spin the wheel. We know it. It's wheel time. On top of our plus 10 upgrade, we are going, oh no. That is going to be plus 20. So we now go into this matchup with... I'm trying to just think, who, what player? I don't even... It's all been about Kyle Pitts, I, you know? So our plus 10 is now a plus 20. We have 20 points to use to poach away players from this Raiders team to help us on our playoff run. With our plus 20, able to spend it all right away uh, Higby for Pitts was always what we're going to do. I actually wasn't expecting to be 15. Uh, I I thought Higby was, you know, an 85 legit. I didn't think he was low as an 82, which, you know, it, you know, it's one less upgrade. I had a couple plus threes that we'd have been able to squeeze in if he actually was an 85. But we're able to spend 15 points to go from Higby. And the Dragon has finally joined. Kyle Pitts, 97 X-Factor. Pitts, Pickens, and Jefferson... Good luck. Good luck stopping that. And then, you know, as much as we just kind of, you know, J.J. Watt, legendary player for us. Uh, you know, he is, you know, he's regressed. He's regressed worse than the other superstar pass rusher in consideration, which is a five-point upgrade to bring in X-Factor pass rusher, who was actually unstoppable in that game, Von Miller. So Von Miller, Benito will be our top pass rushers, uh, especially Benito coming off that four-sack game. is huge. But we're going to spend all 20 of our upgrade and get a lot better on either side of the football at premier positions. Let's give it your live. Who are we taking on in the divisional round with Von Miller and Kyle Pitts? Now on our squad, we are going to be hosting at the Eagles Nest, the 11 and 6 Indianapolis Colts. Okay. And we got Benito off that four sack performance. Absolutely. I'm telling you guys, sleeper. I mean, it's pretty late in the Madden season, but then again, with everyone's Madden franchise getting fucking ruined pretty much for the most part, uh, if you are in an opportunity to get something, you know, you're looking for a sleeper. Nick Benito plays a lot better than his rating, especially in the sim. Proof is in the pudding. In the sim, he crushes it. But our next matchup is going to be against the Indianapolis Colts. Definitely kind of want to see what they're about here a little bit. What are they rocking with? Yeah, Devontae, Chris Jones is good. Honey, I'm almost looking at this. I, my confidence is such a high level. Like, what players are we, when we beat them, are we going to be able to steal? That's going to be able to be, like, another missing piece for this playoff run. Um, I mean, I'm not seeing a whole lot here, to be honest with you. Like, Greg Rousseau could be interesting. Gabe Davis, maybe at wide receiver. Jalen Johnson, the secondary. I mean, our secondary is pretty good. Davenport is kind of pink slippy, 6'6", 265. He comes in with 86 speed, almost 90 acceleration. That could be something to consider. Honey Badger, one of my favorite players of all time. That could be a nice little additional piece. That, you know, we'd have to probably move on from the Cookie Monster. Go from Cookie Monster to Honey Badger. Potentially Chris Jones would be sick at defensive tackle as well. I mean, you now you're getting the lofty upgrades there. Um, but uh, it's interesting. That's an interesting matchup. What do they got under center? They got a young... Unknown Stanley Blackman at a Syracuse. 94 throw fire. Get a good cannon on him. You know, I kind of wish I was Kirk Cousins in prime time. But that's a nice matchup. And it won't be too long, fellas. I'm telling you right now. Knowing that we, I want to get this playoff run done. I want to be able to get in and win this Super Bowl. So uh, this pink slips won't be as delayed as the you know the last episode of this one was. So I will see you guys back here in a couple. Maybe we'll have this. Might be able to get out before Super Bowl. Uh, you know, not Super Bowl Sunday, but uh, Championship Sunday. I definitely want to get another one of these in before too long. But I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. I don't really think we even need to, you know, take that upgrade to a vote. Kyle Pitts, Vaughn Miller spending all 20 that way. I mean, the other upgrades could have brought maybe Garrett Wilson in. That was a plus three. Landon Dickerson, 
was a plus three as well. Creed Humphrey at center would have been a plus 13, so that really wouldn't have been feasible. Evan Neal, 87 superstar tackle, was a potential upgrade, but that was a plus 10 upgrade. So very expensive and not as flashy as being able to bring in Kyle Pitts and Von Miller. So I hope we made the right call. Hope you guys are excited to see this playoff push continue. We'll be back before too long. Thank you guys very much for watching. If it's your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's your boy C4 saying peace out. Love ya. Have a good one.